Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 giant movie monsters. For this list, we're looking at the greatest giant monsters to ever grace the big screen, from atomic age terrors to beasts of ancient myth. Warning, spoiler alert. Who's your favorite giant movie monster? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20, The Trolls, Troll Hunter. Det er ingen her som tror på Gud eller Jesus. Our list begins with a group entry, because we just couldn't pick which of the monsters from this found footage favorite we liked best. Pulled directly from Norwegian folk myths, the trolls encountered in the film walk an amazing line between fanciful and terrifying. Maybe it's the big giant noses? They're oddly adorable, even when they're eating people. From the triple-headed Tusselad to the squat and burly Ragglefan, all the way up to the gigantic Jotun, these are some of the most interesting and unique movie monsters in recent memory, making this lesser-known film a must-watch for monster fans. Number 19, The Behemoth, The Mist. It should say a ton about this monster that it managed to make our list despite having so little screen time in the movie. It's just that awesome. Baby, so good. Ah! 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 This monster is one of many that emerge from an otherworldly fog that descends on a New England town. Glimpsed briefly by the heroes of the film, this monster is absolutely gigantic and boasts a body covered in writhing tentacles that give us serious Cthulhu vibes. It's the presentation that helps this one stand out. Half obscured through the titular mist, the creature is equal parts majestic and horrifying, so massive and otherworldly that it doesn't even spare our heroes a second glance. It's a brief but chilling sight. Number 18, the Retosaurus, the beast from 20,000 Fathoms. The impact of special effects legends Ray Harryhausen on genre films cannot be understated, and his massive legacy began right here with this humble but fearsome dinosaur. <coughs> Awakened by nuclear tests, the creature descends upon New York to wreak havoc and mayhem. As if its titanic size and strength aren't enough, the creature also spreads a deadly disease wherever it goes further hampering efforts to kill it. While the effects may look antiquated by today's standards, this monster gains huge cred for helping to kickstart the career of one of cinema's finest creative minds, and inspiring certain other monsters that you'll see later in our list. Number 17, the Tarantula, Tarantula. You just can't get more classic than a good old-fashioned giant spider. <laughs> this particular arachnid is the byproduct of a secret laboratory that used radioactive elements to create a super nutrient intended to help solve world hunger. But when you start messing with super science, things like giant tarantulas are bound to happen, right? <laughs> The spider descends onto the town of Desert Rock, spreading mayhem and probably scarring local arachnophobes for life. You think that was lightning we saw over to the west? If it was, it's the first time I've ever seen lightning throw off sparks. Maybe one of them college boys short-circuited his nice new Geiger counter. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Unlike most monsters on our list, this one was actually created using a real tarantula for many of its scenes, made to look gigantic via some special effects wizardry, making for a surprisingly convincing effect given the film's vintage. Number 16, The Rancor, 
Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. Giant monsters are even a problem in a galaxy far, far away, as Luke Skywalker learns during his mission to Jabba's palace. Oh no, the a massive creature native to the planet Dathomir, some were domesticated and used as mounts by the feared Night Sisters. One member of the species was acquired by, indeed, the ruthless crime lord Jabba the Hutt to serve as his pet slash garbage disposal, devouring anyone unfortunate enough to get thrown into its pit beneath Jabba's throne room. Unfortunately for Jabba and his pet, Jedi tend to put up more of a fight than most meals, and the poor beast meets its end at the hands of Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Number 15, The 50-Foot Woman, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. You don't need scales, claws, or even atomic breath to make a splash as a giant monster, and this entry proves you can go far with just height and determination. Hey, just ask the big-ass spider. She's loose! After a chance encounter with an alien spacecraft, Nancy Archer begins to grow to a colossal size, which allows her to take revenge on her unfaithful husband. She'll tear up the whole town till she finds Harry. This is the only fully human creature on our list, and by far one of the most sympathetic. Let's get the sheriff. Don't worry, Nancy. The people around you may see you as a menace, and we understand why, but we also see you for the powerful, independent boss you are. She's down. Let's take a look. Number 14, The Balrog, the Lord of the Rings franchise. One of the most feared creatures in all of Middle-earth, this ancient terror is scary enough to give even a wizard like Gandalf serious cause for alarm. The Balrog. Described by Gandalf as a demonic denizen of the ancient world, this hulking beast is composed of shadow and flame, and wields a flaming sword and whip that it, frankly, barely even needs. You shall not pass! When you're hugely tall and made out of fire, weapons just seem like overkill. But hey, that evil whip did come in handy. Awoken by the dwarves of Moria when they dug too deep, the beast is a serious threat to the Fellowship, one that Gandalf seemingly makes the ultimate sacrifice to overcome. <laughs> Number 13, Talos, Jason and the Argonauts. Another creature brought to life by the great Ray Harryhausen, this living statue crosses paths with Jason and the Argonauts in the classic 1963 film. It must have been the wind. Placed on the island of Crete by the gods, the statue serves as a ward and guardian of the island's treasure. Normally, this wouldn't be a problem for Jason and his friends, but the statue mistakes them for pirates after Hercules takes a brooch during their stop on the island. Perhaps Hercules found a woman after all. Beautifully realized by Harryhausen, this is one of the most incredible monsters in a film packed with incredible monsters, and his size and strength presents a challenge even for the film's powerful heroes. Number 12, Mecha Godzilla, the Godzilla franchise. Giant radioactive lizard, pretty cool. Giant radioactive robot lizard, now we're talking. Godzilla's robotic doppelganger has taken several forms over the years, first appearing in 1974 as the creation of a race of aliens bent on conquering Earth.
Later films reimagined it as an anti-Godzilla defense system created by humans in an attempt to fight off the legendary monster. Is it the most practical weapon to fight Godzilla? Probably not, but it's still rad. Armed with a wide array of lasers, missiles, and even a powerful freezing cannon, Godzilla's mechanical counterpart always gives him a run for his money. Number 11. Sanda and Gaira – The War of the Gargantuas Another two-for-one. The subjects of this entry take sibling rivalry to a pretty destructive level. The creatures are officially the offspring of Frankenstein, who appeared as a monster with regenerative powers in 1965's Frankenstein Conquers the World. In the ocean's unfathomable depths, a gigantic, man-like creature appears. Papa Frank was defeated, but his remains regenerated into two wholly new creatures. While the friendly Sanda is an ally to us humans, the villainous Gyra hates our collective guts, and the two clash in spectacular fashion when Gyra attacks Japan. The titanic struggle between these two is honestly one of the best fight scenes in all of classic kaiju cinema, and easily earns them a place on our list. Number 10. King Ghidorah – The Godzilla Franchise The King of the Monsters has had some incredible enemies over the years, a few of which are of course also on this list. But without a doubt, his greatest nemesis is this appropriately fearsome bad boy. Oh, shit. Sporting three heads, two tails, wings, and the power to fire lightning-like gravity beams, this space kaiju has returned time and time again to battle Godzilla, and he's given the big guy a tough fight every time. Is it just me, or has he been working out? Are you kidding me? In most incarnations, he's a space-born monster that comes to Earth to cause trouble, and is often such a titanic threat that multiple monsters need to team up just to stand a chance. Long live the king. Looking at him, it's not hard to see why. Number 9. The Ants. Them. There are few sights more iconic among Atomic Age horror films than the giant ants of this 1954 classic. <laughs> These colossal critters helped kick off an entire subgenre back in the day, being some of the first of many movie monsters to grow to massive size thanks to that pesky atomic energy. While vulnerable to human weapons, the ants are numerous and fearsome enough to cause plenty of trouble, and the military needs to be called in to fight them. But you know how it is with ants, you just can't get rid of them until you find the nest. How hard do you think it would be to get a giant can of bug spray? Number 8. The Blob. The Blob. An amorphous mass of living slime brought to Earth on a meteorite, this is another classic from American horror films of the 50s. <laughs> Unlike other monsters, who tend to be more on the smashy side, this one spreads mayhem by enveloping and dissolving anything it comes across, growing bigger as it devours more unlucky victims.
As these affairs often go, the military are unable to combat the extraterrestrial menace, and the day is only saved by the revelation of the monster's weakness. It's cold! That's why it didn't come in the icebox after it can't stand cold. In a rare occurrence, the 80s remake of this sci-fi horror classic is also worth a watch, especially for the fantastic special effects. Number 7. The Graboids – The Tremors Franchise Most giant monsters do their wrecking above ground, but not these ones. That's how they get you. They're under the goddamn ground. A race of giant, armored worms, these monsters appear to shake the town of Perfection, Nevada to its foundations. And we mean that quite literally. Come on, come on, come on. The creatures are heavily armored and able to move underground at terrifying speeds, allowing them to burst out of the ground and devour unsuspecting victims whole. They also have an array of grasping tentacles, from which their name is derived. They're not impossible to take down if you have a bunker full of firepower on hand, but bear in mind that not everyone is as well armed as the Gummer family. Number 6. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man – Ghostbusters By far the strangest entry on our list, this entry nonetheless has us terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. While it looks on the surface like a giant marshmallow mascot, this monster is even stranger when you dig beneath the surface. In truth, he's the chosen form of Gozer the Destructor, an ancient trans-dimensional entity summoned to our plane of existence by a sinister cult, with a New York City apartment building serving as the gateway. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Its form upon arriving in our world is chosen by Ghostbuster Ray Stance's thoughts, which is why New York ends up nearly falling to the softest looking giant monster we can think of. Number 5. Mothra – The Godzilla and Mothra Franchises Meet Titanus Mosura, or as we like to call her, Mothra. This divine monster is easily one of the most beloved and iconic kaiju to come out of Toho Studios, and also one of the friendliest, so long as you don't get on her bad side. Introduced in a 1961 solo film, the Queen of the Monsters is a seemingly magical being worshipped as a god by the natives of Infant Island, and even has a duo of tiny priestesses who can communicate with her via song. Shortly after this, she was teamed up with Godzilla and Rodan, and a partnership for the ages was born. One of the more powerful kaiju, she has a range of abilities, including creating silk to restrain her foes, and even energy beams. Number 4. Gamera – The Gamera Franchise while Godzilla was undoubtedly the king of the kaiju boom of the 60s and 70s, he had a rival in the form of this entry. Able to breathe fire, fly, and even travel through space, this giant turtle began as an ancient creature mutated by radiation before transitioning to a more benevolent role, a path Godzilla himself would also take. Like his main rival, his franchise has also been revived several times, to particularly great effect with the trilogy of films released in the 90s.
Standing in the shadow of the King of the Monsters isn't easy, but the guardian of Earth and friend of all children stands tall and proud. So why would you save my life? Number 3. The Cyclops – The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad We've gushed over Ray Harryhausen quite a bit on this list already, and we're not quite done yet. To the boats, quickly! While not the maestro's first creation, it was this mythic monster that cemented his place in cinema history. Emerging from a cave to menace Sinbad and his crew, the creature instantly became one of the most iconic and enduring images of Harryhausen's legacy, inspiring numerous filmmakers who came after and sparking the imagination of countless audience members. Other monsters may be bigger, tougher, and are able to fire more, which is to say any, laser beams, but this one lands high on our list for being an unsung icon. Farewell, Kalesa. Number 2. King Kong – The King Kong Franchise The number 2 spot on our list goes to the one that started it all, the eighth wonder of the world himself. A colossal ape native to the remote Skull Island, he captured the hearts of cinema-goers way back in 1933. Brought to life by effects artist Willis O'Brien, the creature was unlike anything audiences had seen before, a spectacle previously unimaginable to moviegoers. As if being an icon of cinema weren't enough, he's also one of the toughest monsters around, brutally strong and deceptively cunning. Kong, hold his tail! <laughs> He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Godzilla, his own robotic doppelganger, and the fearsome skull crawlers, and beaten them all. Before we unveil our gigantic number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Kraken – Clash of the Titans Gorgo, Gorgo. Slattern, Pacific Rim. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Godzilla – The Godzilla Franchise The king of the monsters, yep, him again, has spent over half a century earning his title, and who are we to argue? Of course, the top spot goes to cinema's most iconic giant monster, the radioactive titan who's the benchmark against all which other kaiju are measured. From his 1954 debut and subsequent revivals throughout the decades, it's nearly impossible to keep the big guy away from movie screens. He has by far the biggest filmography of any giant monster on our list. He's also the toughest, sporting a near impenetrable hide, vicious claws and teeth, and of course, his iconic fiery atomic breath. So sure, go ahead and tell him he shouldn't be number one. See what happens. Well, that was interesting. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.